Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here, do an energy check, see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective reading, not a personal reading. If you like a personal reading, the details are in my description box for my channel. You can also email me, aceclipse at yahoo.com. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> we have privileged lady in the reverse and bad health. And then we have a made male and imprisonment in the reverse. And then we have a gift and a mature woman in the reverse. So let's see what this is about. So we have a feminine energy who could be in bad health. A main male who's not going to jail or not trapped or not getting locked up. And then we have a mature woman in the reverse who could be getting a gift or expecting a gift. Giving a gift, receiving a gift. Let's see what this is about. Because I feel like there are three separate energies going on here right off the bat. And then we have a detective, someone who's looking for the truth, or the truth is being unveiled here. Hunter in the reverse. So someone was being strategic, but survival is on there as well. So someone may be looking into the truth about a situation as to why someone was targeted, or why some sort of strategy was put together, or why someone... You know, was being stalked, harassed, something like that. But also maybe how someone survived it. And something is laughable. Okay, so clown, jester, comedy. So whatever this detective or the truth is, like it could be laughable. Or I'm getting that it could also be that like this detective is a joke. Like a joker, like a clown. Or maybe some sort of investigation was a joke. Because someone's a captain, someone's a leader, someone makes good decisions and is objective. They don't get caught up in their emotions, so that's like king or queen of swords energy. Somebody could have been misguided to do something stealthy and sneaky. We have ninja and guide in the reverse here. So somebody thought that they were being sneaky and stealthy. <clears throat> and they could have been being guided to do so. Or they were guiding someone to do this, to target someone, or be strategic, or do something strategic in a situation. And maybe whatever the detective found out, like this is laughable because someone is like a leader. And then we have the king of swords here in the upright. Someone makes head over heart decisions. They're disciplined, truthful, honest, mental clarity, and authority. So someone could be an authority figure. It could be someone who's in an authority position that called for this investigation or called for someone to look for the truth or they're gaining some sort of clarity in a situation here with the page of pentacles and the reverse. Someone has a lack of commitment. They're greedy. They're lazy. They refuse to learn from their failures. And then we have the hangman. There's a pause, a surrender, a new perspective, enlightenment, viewing things different than before, deeper insight, change, and release. So there's a King of Swords energy here who could be getting enlightened about the truth. Maybe that someone is a joker, like someone's a fool. Like whatever someone did was like laughable because someone is like a natural born leader. And then we have the Eight of Cups. There's disappointment, abandonment, withdrawal, escapism, walking away and leaving behind. So there's going to be a situation that ends in disappointment. Someone's going to have to withdraw. Like someone could be having to walk away, but it could be like because they're being forced to walk away because they're not going to get whatever this is because the truth is coming out about the situation. Whatever they were trying to do strategically. And then we have the eight of pentacles. Someone has very high standards like mastery, skill development, apprenticeship and passion. So someone's hard work is really paying off. When it comes to whatever they're doing. So that's why something is laughable. So someone could have said that someone was lazy. They didn't work or whatever. Whatever this is that sparked someone to dig a little deeper. And it doesn't have to be an actual detective. It could just be someone who went digging for the truth. To find out the truth about a person or situation. Because someone could have been saying a lot of stuff. You know, people like to talk a lot. Ace of Wands in the reverse. There's delays, lack of motivation, lack of energy, lack of passion, way down and boredom. So while someone is feeling way down, bored... Like, they're not passionate. Someone else is. And it's like someone could have said that someone in the upright was like that. 
but it could be their energy. So they could have been projecting their own energy as if it were someone who's in the upright. And then we have a king of wands, a natural born leader, a visionary, entrepreneur, big picture, leader, overcoming challenges, mature and career focused. So we have someone who it's like laughable because someone's very career focused, driven, making that money, um, very dedicated to whatever they're doing and they're working hard to do this. So something is laughable about the truth that was discovered about a person or a situation. So someone may just not agree with what someone does for work or they don't like what someone does for work. But they've been working really hard at it and they're very dedicated. So it's like just because you don't like what someone does doesn't mean they're not working hard or they're not good at what they do. That they're not skilled. But whatever the truth was that was found out, like this was laughable. Mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So live the life you want. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. So someone is pissed. Someone is upset about you choosing the life that you want for yourself and going after it. Like, if you're an entrepreneur or you started something on your own or you just chose a different career path than what someone else wanted for you, like, this pisses someone off. Like, someone could be losing their temper because you chose to do what you love or do what you like and they just didn't like it. So fucking what? Jeez. Growing up, these came out sideways. Wanting to grow and experience... Perceptual youth, reju is that rejection of perpetual youth. So someone is growing. It's like you want your. You could be like a seeker of knowledge, gaining an experience, or maybe you are experienced, like an apprenticeship. Like you could be learning something new, growing, evolving, like gaining more knowledge. Like you're not closed-minded. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. So you're gaining experience or you have gained experience and you're doing something that you really enjoy or that you love or you're researching it, looking into it, figuring out if it's what you want to do, something like that. And someone's talking a lot of nonsense about it. Nonsense. Time to talk nonsense. So someone's talking shit about what you do or what you chose to do with your life or how you're doing it. Find the lesson. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. So you're the kind of person that learns. Like if you go through a karmic lesson, you're like, what was this supposed to teach me? You learn from it. You evolve. You move on. You see the silver lining in situations. You look for the higher meaning, which serves you well. Because that's how you ascend. You grow. Someone just needs to move on. Someone's unavailable and it's a waste of time and it's over. <clears throat> But this person can't move on or they're they're upset about what you do. Like how you're living your life. And I don't see why it's anyone else's business. But there's a liar here that needs to move on. Moving in the reverse. And no, it's not the right time. So you're not going to be moving in with this person. Or you could have moved away from this person. You're not moving in with this person. Maybe because they're a liar. So you don't want to be in a relationship with them. You don't want to move in with them. So maybe they didn't want you to move in with them or they had reservations about you moving in with them because they don't like what you do. Like, if you're a spiritual person, you know, not everybody likes spirituality, okay? Like, a lot of people, especially religious people, will say, like, it's evil, the devil, something like that. Someone may have um, not liked what you do for work because they have, like, some sort of closed-minded views or perception about what it is you do or how you do it or they could have thought it was evil or dark or they could have called you a witch or a warlock whatever um so you didn't move in with this person and they could have been the kind of person that would be like well if you give this up you know i would you know let you move in with me or i would be in a relationship with you but i don't want you doing what you're doing that like maybe that kind of energy but someone's a liar and they're being sneaky. So maybe they lied about what you do. Someone was not telling the truth. A talisman. In the reverse. So someone wasn't telling the truth. Maybe about a key, a key to a home or something like that. Or a living situation if you lived with this person. 
maybe they said you didn't want to work or something like that, but you were building something, working on something, growing something. This person does not have protection. So this liar does not have protection, religious or spiritual, whatever. There's a shift coming. And then we have a divine feminine in the reverse. So there's a feminine energy here who's in the reverse, who does not have protection, and they lied. So that could have been one of the feminine energies that came out in the very beginning. I think both of those feminine energies were in the reverse. Spiritual cleansing, like this feminine energy can't like cleanse off like the karma that they brought upon themselves. Like, they can't clean it enough. Like, they can take as many spiritual baths as they want. They can light as many candles as they want. Whatever they're doing, like, they can't cleanse off what they did. It's like they can't wash the, the grime away, the dirt away, because of all the lies they told. They can't wash off, like, the stench of their dirty soul. Something like, I don't know why. <laughs> that's, that's harsh, but, yeah. They're just a dirty person. Like, they're just a horrible person. They're, they're, like, ugly on the inside. Whoever this person is, it's like they're ugly on the inside. Even if they're attractive on the outside, this person is just really ugly. They don't have a good heart. They don't have good intentions. It's like they don't have a good soul. This could even be a parental figure or someone that you lived with or someone that you, you know, dated or you could have been engaged or married to this person. I don't know, but there's a feminine energy here that's in the reverse that it's like their soul stinks, like it's just rotten, like they're just a bad person. And they were lying and they don't have protection for whatever they did. Anything about that from this deck? The quantum field, the invisible field of information that exists beyond time and space, and go with the flow. Relax, it'll all work out in the end. So you may have invisible knowledge or something is working out on your behalf. It's being worked out spiritually for you. Divine timing could be at play. Spirituality could be at play. There's things working behind the scenes in the invisible field that you may not know, but you could have information or knowledge that helps you go. Go, I heard go along to get along, but like whatever downloads you get, it helps you just move along. You know, even when bad shit happens, like there's a lesson to be learned, okay? And you learn your lessons and someone just refused to negotiate, to compromise, knowing you need to call in a professional or neutral person to negotiate on your ha behalf. Someone refused to negotiate. It's like someone didn't want to hear your side of the story. Like nobody wanted to listen to you. Like they could have listened to whatever this person said and they just took it as facts or something like that. Because, you know, the bad stuff is easier to believe than the truth. So, and you know, people like to talk. So this person was unwilling to compromise or negotiate when it came to making you feel trapped or trying to trap you up in something. Have you been going through a really tough year? So this person refused to negotiate and was intentionally causing problems to make you go through some really hard times. This is like throwing rocks, hiding hands, sabotaging energy. This is like somebody who is just being stubborn just for the sake of being stubborn just to cause you a hard time or cause someone to have a hard time. Make things more difficult than they needed to be. Someone was very much trapped in their ego and they were arrogant. They were being arrogant. Friendly. I'm approaching with nothing but kindness. So there's someone here who is friendly or someone who wants to be friendly. Maybe that's because you're a good person. If you're the one who's friendly, you know, you could... You have a good heart. If you're in the upright, you're a loving and caring person. I love you and I only want to add happiness to your life, but that's in the reverse. If someone is approaching you 
like maybe cautiously or slowly it's like i'm coming i come in peace kind of energy but like this person doesn't love you and they're not trying to add happiness to your life so this could be a friend family member relative or somebody that you were in a relationship with someone who's approaching you on friendly terms or like acting as if they're being friendly but there's no love here and i heard there's no love lost either so there may be some bitter feelings, like a love-hate relationship or something like that with this person. You are not obligated to love this person. You're a nuisance, and I feel obligated to associate with you. So you don't have to love this person out of obligation. It doesn't matter if they're your family member or what. If someone's out to sabotage you or do you something dirty, uh, you're not obligated to love this person. But they're coming to you as if they're like being all friendly because they want you to feel like you're obligated to love them no matter what they do to you brag i can't wait to tell you the amazing thing that happened to me like someone likes to talk they like to talk about themselves perspective i appreciate your unique perspective on a situation i value your opinion i need to apologize for what i did i'm sorry and then greed is in the reverse i'm pursuing wealth and power with no regard for ethical or moral boundaries entertainment i find your life amusing and your stories comical and then goodbye the time has come to part ways so someone may owe you an apology like they may try to come to you on friendly terms like acting as if they want your perspective or your opinion on something but the reason they're coming towards you is like they want to brag about something good in their life this is the kind of person who likes to talk but then as soon as you start talking about you like they'll change the subject or or revert the subject like back to them it's like they want to talk about them they don't really give a shit about what's going on with you unless they're trying to get some sort of information about you it's like once they get the information they they want from you or to see like once they've snooped enough in your business to get the information they need then it's like okay then it's back to them it's all about them like that your life's not important to this person there's no love here you're not obligated to love this person something is being brought to light with a hermit so something is being exposed about a hierophant in the reverse. False prophet, false teacher, not an official person who caused an injustice. So they caused an imbalance here with whatever they did within a union or a partnership. Or breaking up a union or partnership like maybe they played a role in it if this is not the person that you were in a relationship with they could have played a role in this by causing an injustice there's a very emotional situation going on because someone rushed in and did something hastily to cause an injustice possibly within the courts or a legal system or a union or a partnership they rushed in and they did something quickly here and it's being brought to light that this person's all about the drama. They just like creating these emotional situations and they won't leave you the hell alone. They need to move on, let something go. They did something hastily with some sort of communication because they were pissed and all in their feelings and emotions about a Queen of Pentacles or this was a Queen of Pentacles and the reverse that did this there was illusions surrounding this person so someone was pissed off with some sort of information or communication to cause illusions surrounding a queen of pentacles so someone could have lied about a queen of pentacles or or this is a gold digging feminine energy however it resonates for you but there was someone who was lying about someone being in poverty maybe how they ended up in poverty or they lied about the fact this person was in poverty Someone's just doing too much, juggling, multitasking here. They lost their financial security and stability, and they didn't come towards you with the offer that you've been waiting for, so this was a dirty offer. <clears throat> like, if this person comes to you and says they're sorry or something like that, like, there's a reason this person's coming towards you, but they don't love you. Like, this person lost... Like, they don't have a safety net. They don't have financial stability. They lost it. They could have said maybe you lost it or they lied to cause you to lose something. Like, if you had money, like, if you are a queen of pentacles and you had money, um, 
they could have said something or did something, took some sort of action to cause you to lose that money so that you would be in poverty, so that their story would fit or some crazy shit like that. Like, see, I told you what they're doing isn't work. Like, they're just being lazy. They just don't want to go get a regular job, like that kind of shit. Like, someone's talking shit about what you do. Maybe you work from home or maybe you make stuff, like, on Etsy, sell stuff. Like, I don't know. You could be a content creator. Or, like, maybe you're an artist, you could paint, sing, whatever, but someone thinks you're, like, chasing pipe dreams and you just don't want to go get, like, a regular job or something. Five of Wands, there's a group of people here who could be scrambling to do something because there's a positive outcome. It could be a group of people scrambling to help someone because there is a positive outcome and someone here is not moving on to calmer waters because of someone's strength, courage, and perseverance. So this Hierophant in the reverse is not moving on to calmer waters. And there's a king of wands who is seeing someone's strength and courage. Or this is a king of wands who is strong, courageous, who's going for it, like going for the gold. The hierophant in the reverse, there was a third party situation with this lying king of swords and a queen of pentacles. So there's a queen of pentacles in the upright here. And there was a masculine energy that was lying about this person. And they were hooking up with a third party to do this. So this could have been a masculine that worked with the feminine or multiple feminine energies to conspire to strategize to do something to a queen of pentacles and a king of wands could be seeing this or if you're a masculine you could be the king of wands priestess here who's working really hard like there is a high priestess high priest who's working really hard and it's going to pay off for this person don't judge a book by its cover success doesn't happen overnight somebody did something that was really unadmirable like really despicable like dirty like someone did something really shady maybe just because they were jealous and envious something about like just they did something based on emotions being petty maybe because they didn't live out their dreams or something like it could be something as simple as them just being pissed off because you did something with your life or you did what you love and this other person didn't and so like they could just be pissed off at you because you did something with your life Which is really shady. Like, I don't know why other people keep blaming other people for their life. Like, for the actions they didn't take. Like, someone tried to cause an injury to someone or someone actually did injure someone. With whatever these lies are. And then we have a queen of wands. Someone tried to hurt a queen of wands and somebody was obsessed with doing this. They could have said this person suffered from addictions or obsessions or whoever this person was that hurt a queen of wands was addicted and obsessed and that's over. There's a jealous ass feminine here, a queen of cups in the reverse. So this is a jealous ass feminine energy in the reverse that was obsessed with hurting a queen of wands and there's an ace of wands. This person is getting something. The queen of wands, she has her wand. She has her staff. If she doesn't, she's about to get it. And something is not moving forward for this queen of cups in the reverse who is very jealous and envious of this person. And it could have been either one of those feminine energies in the reverse I picked up on because there's at least two feminines in the reverse that's connected to this crazy mess. Could be relatives, exes, whatever the case, man. Depending on where you are in this story. So, let's find out. Someone's cock blocking. So someone's trying to cock block you out of jealousy. They're obsessed with causing pain and hurt. Like there's just this. And even if it's a masculine and their little bitch energy, like the Queen of Cups in the reverse, that's just the energy. It can still be a masculine that's like doing something like out of emotions. Like just someone doesn't want to see someone happy and they're cock blocking.
someone was trying to research someone, studying, trying to get info to cock block someone, strategizing to get information. If they were blocked. Like maybe they were trying to see if someone was in a relationship or something like that. If they're happy. Someone's stalking the shit out of someone. Watching and they're obsessed. So someone is obsessed with stalking, watching, and trying to cock block somebody. And there are legal issues here. So there's court, judgment, immigration, lawyers. So there are some sort of legal issues here going on in this situation. Trying to block you. And this person has no facts. They're making shit up. And someone is reflecting on this because somebody was just clout chasing, clout hungry. Someone's just pissed off. They're not getting attention. They just make shit up. They're being dramatic. So someone said something. They rushed in hastily because they were jealous, whatever they were in their emotions. Okay. They made some sort of claim or allegation about someone. And someone is reflecting on this message, this information. And it could have something to do with a legal issue. There could be someone at the courthouse who's reflecting thinking about something and finding out that someone has no facts that could be why there's an actual investigation or detective looking into something or there is someone who's digging a little deeper to find out what the hell's going on here it's like all right we need to know what's going on in this situation so you could be called to court to provide some sort of information or documentation about something because something isn't making sense and someone wants the facts because someone is saying a lot of shit and they're creeping. Someone someone who's reflecting could be creeping, like looking, digging into stuff. Or this is that stalker who's creeping like a mother lover, like just all up in your business or trying to find out what you have going on. Uh, it's a drama starter. So the, the drama starter is creeping. This person has fake accounts. Same shit, different day. This is nothing new to you. You dodged a bullet with this person. They're trying to use scarcity tactics to get what they want. Because you moved on. Moving on. Thank you. Next. Because this shit's played out. There was a karmic friend involved in this situation. You can't fully trust him. Secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So somebody was a friend of me. Someone is in a, lo a love triangle. Third party. Multiple lovers. They were trying to keep their options open. So you moved on from someone who may have tried to put you in a love triangle or deals with multiple lovers. You could be traveling or you traveled or moved away from this person. Maybe you moved out of a home with this person because you found out they had you in a love triangle situation. Somebody was in their ego just dirt digging and you were uninterested. They were trying to get some sort of evidence against you. This person suffers from bad habits, drugs, addictions, toxicities, and someone caught a case. Sexual infection, sexual disease, or a rash. Like this person that has multiple lovers... Someone caught a case. So say you're, you know, you don't have to be married, but say you were in a marriage. Like say this is a king and queen of wands here and you were married to this person and you lived with them. Like they caught a case of something because they wouldn't keep it in their pants. And so maybe you moved out, separated from them, whatever the case here, but someone caught a case. Because of their addictions and obsessions. Someone's very envious, jealous, resentful, competitive, and discontent. And because they're discontent, they wanted you to feel hopeless, lost. Like your life isn't going to go anywhere. Like your dreams aren't going to come true. If their dreams can't come true, yours aren't either. Like this person's nuts. Anything from this deck. Okay. What is being hidden? Someone actually is investigating something. So there could be an actual detective who is investigating. We're looking into a situation because of what someone did hastily to bring a legal issue to someone. 
And someone is destroyed, shattered, broken. Someone's fucked up. It could be the person who's investigating this. Or the person who's being investigated that's about to be fucked up, shattered. Someone's trying to get rid of evidence. So they're burning evidence, trying to get rid of it. Because they know they fucked up. Someone is, someone is moving with caution or proceeding with caution. So someone's being cautious. Like they could be burning evidence, getting rid of evidence because they're being cautious. They could be afraid something could be traced back to them or tied back to them. But someone else may have some evidence. So just because they're getting rid of what, you know, some sort of evidence doesn't mean that there isn't evidence. I hate nothing about you in the reverse. So there may be some, like, you know, this person may love you one day, hate you want, you know, the next. Or they just absolutely despise you and have nothing but bitterness and hatred for you. Because if they, they don't love you, because love is in the reverse. If this person loved you, they wouldn't be doing this shit or they wouldn't have to be burning evidence of whatever they did to you. So they obviously don't have love for you. Anything else? Someone got kicked to the curb or someone's getting kicked to the curb. Because someone is like... They have no love in them. Like, they're full of hatred, piss. Like, they might not like anything about you. It's like, oh, I love you, but I hate everything about you. I hate the way you dress, the way you look, the way you wear your hair, dye your hair this color, cut your hair this way. Um, you know, don't, don't you think you should wear that other outfit? Like, this is someone who, like, hates everything about you, but they claim that they love you. Like, that just... No, wear this perfume today, or maybe you should wear this shade of lipstick, or, you know, you're showing too much cleavage. Why don't you wear that other shirt? I like that other shirt better. You look better natural. Maybe you shouldn't wear makeup. Like, this person it just hates every. Like, no, like, I don't want to go to that church. Let's go to this church. Or, you know, I don't like your spirituality. Maybe you shouldn't read cards, or maybe you shouldn't be listening to tarot readers, whatever the case. Like, I don't know. But this person, like, hates everything about you, but they say they love you, and they want to, but they want to change everything about you. Like, living with this person could have just stressed you the fuck out. If you lived with them, like, you could have been stressed out all the time because, like, they they just can't handle... They don't accept you for you. And you chose to be who you're going to be. And they don't like it. There's going to be a revealing here. There's some sort of evidence that someone's a copycat and it's game over. Someone that someone was having sex with. That they cheated on someone with red lipstick stains, that third party situation, because someone's putting on a show and they were get they got caught up. So they got caught cheating or being unfaithful in a third party situation with a copycat. <clears throat> and you're like, nope, I'm out. But yeah, they could be trying to turn this copycat into you. It's like they could have hated everything about you, tried to get you to change everything about you, but then they tried to turn this copycat into you. <laughs> what the? Okay. It's like, well, now that they're gone, I miss them, and, you know, so I'm going to make this person... It's like, what is it, Build-A-Bitch? Like, you know, like the Build-A-Bear thing? Like, is is it a dude, like, you know, like trying to do this to a woman, or like is this a, a, a you know, or the other way around? I don't know. Like I said, it could be masculine or feminine energy, but it's just like someone hated everything about you. They cheated on you with a copycat and then they turned around and like tried to turn the copycat into you like because they missed you or something, but they don't love you. It's like they hate you. It's like they hate you, but they love it. I don't know. That's weird. I want to be different in the reverse and you were right. Like, you could have told this person, hey, you need to back the fuck off. Like, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be different. I just want to be me. Like, whoever you are. And, like, this person's like, yeah, you're right. You're right. Like, but it's a little too late for that now. It's like, you were right. Like, this person was trying to turn you into something completely, like, that you weren't. Like, turn you into something that you weren't. They didn't appreciate you or your uniqueness or whatever. And it's like... Yeah, you're right, like, because they're realizing that this copycat, like, they're trying to turn them into you now. It's like they could have tried to turn you into someone from their past or something like that or what they wanted, you know, but, yeah, they were cheating on you. So it's like maybe they were trying to provoke you or make you insecure so that you would change 
like, um, like, uh, like they would say things about other women. Like if this is a man, I'm just using this as an example. So like, say like this is a man or something, they saw an attractive woman, like, and he would make a comment like, yeah, you should wear your hair like that. Or you should get your nails done like that. Or you should, you know, like, but yeah, that could be something like maybe their ex wife or ex girlfriend like used to wear something and like you've seen a picture or something like that and you're like, what are you trying to do? Turn me into your fucking ex? Like what the fuck? Like I don't know. <clears throat> it hurts so much in the reverse. Will this ever change? And I am the man. Like this person is like, but I'm the man. You should listen to me. Like you should you know, do as I say, do as you're told, you know, not as I do kind of thing. Like, this is someone who wants to be in charge, but, you know, so they could be coming to you and saying, like, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's like the, but it's, an, I feel like it's not authentic. It's like they wanted to change everything about you and they hurt you. Like, you know, they inflicted emotional pain on you to try to get you to do what they wanted you to do or be how they wanted you to be. But it's like they're trying to admit, it's like they're trying to admit that you were right without saying you were right. Like a half-ass apology kind of thing. It's like, yeah, well, maybe I could have done things a little differently, but I'm not going to admit, like, you know, that you were completely right. I'm just going to say, like, maybe I could have done things differently. But you could have, too. Like, that kind of shit. Like, yeah, I could have done things a little differently. But so could you. Like, the blame game kind of shit. Like, it's petty. Like, if you want to be the man, be the man. Come on now. Take full responsibility for your bullshit. Please and thank you. And then they turned around and did this to someone else. Like, I miss you in the reverse. Like, either you're not missing this person or they don't really miss you. They just miss that maybe they could control you or that they thought they could. You know, because maybe you let them get away with it for a little bit. Maybe maybe this person's like, oh, well, you would look better with this hair color. And then, like, you dyed your hair or something. And then, like, then it's like they were take, seeing how far they could take it. And at some point, you're just like, what the fuck is you, what the fuck is you trying to do? Like, what are you doing? Like, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> at some point you put your foot down and you said no. Someone wasn't missing someone because they were under a love spell to begin with. Or someone doesn't miss someone because someone tried to use a love spell and it backfired and it didn't work. The truth is coming out that someone is moving on. The police could be getting involved and now there's massive regrets with this person who had secret accounts that are just watching, stalking this obsessive lover. They did a love spell and it backfired. So if you do this on a divine being, if you do a love spell on a divine being, it backfires or it doesn't work. Or this person had to have love for you or something. Like, you know, there's things that have to, like, you know, fall into line or be in alignment for, like, a love spell to work. And none of the shit was aligning, so it didn't work. And it could just be because of who you are. Because it was too late. So it could have been too late. They did a love spell too late or they couldn't get something done. Like they could have, yeah, like at the, by the time they did this love spell on you, it was too late. Like you didn't love this person anymore. Because you weren't missing them because you're happy single. Praying, meditating, you know, talking good stuff, sweet talk. Someone wants to talk some good stuff to you. Because the cycle is ending. It's like someone wants to come sweet talk you. Hey baby. But please. But please. Like. But you're happy single. Whoever you are. You're happy single. And the cycle is over. This person was a thug. Someone was a thug. You're closing the cycle with this sex addiction. This person with sex addiction who caught a case. Has a toxic lifestyle. This person's psycho. They're ex. They're obsessed. And they won't let go. And I just heard that song, Ain't That a Shame Again. And someone, you know, in the last video I recorded, um, you know, I didn't know where that came from. And someone said it was Fats Domino and someone said it was Cheap Trick. But I'm hearing that again, Ain't That a Shame. So, it's feeling like shit. This psycho, crazy ex-obsessed lover could be feeling like shit because the cycle's closed out. They wanted to be a thug and they wanted to dominate you. And it's like, eventually you had enough. 
And then they were cheating on you on top of it. It's like, if you can do all this, like, if you can... It's like the build a bitch thing. It's like, okay, if you want a perfect person, I'll be whatever you want me to be. And you could have done that for this person. And they still cheated on you. So then you let, you're left looking like a dumbass. You're like, I'm not going to be a dumbass ever again. Like, I'm never doing this for any motherfucker. I'm going to stay me. I'm going to do what I want. And I'm going to be happy single. And you did it. Like, you know, the, someone may have gotten away with this at one time, but no one could get away with this shit again. Like, someone's not getting away with this a second time. Like, your guard is up, your boundaries are up, you learned your lessons, and you're like, no, I'm not going to let anyone tell me how I'm going to be, who I'm going to be, what I'm going to believe in. No. You're happy being free. Someone can't keep up with you. They don't have the strength and endurance. Someone may be out of shape. Someone maybe needed to go to the gym. Or maybe this person tried to get you to stop working out. Like if you were working out, this person's like, oh, you know, like come be lazy with me. Come sit on the couch, this, that, and the other. And maybe you gained a few pounds. And then they're like, see, I told you this person was lazy and they're a piece of shit. They don't want to do anything. And meanwhile, they were trying to fatten you up, like feeding you sweets and junk food and trying to get you to stop working out and shit. So like... Your self-esteem, your confidence would be low or something like that. And so they could continue being a you know piece of shit to you and keep cheating on you and you would just sit there and put up with it because you know they would you would they thought that you would think that you wouldn't be able to do better than them or something. Like they wanted you to look at them like they were the best you could do or some shit like that. That's not the case, but that's what they tried to do. Some you schooled someone, someone's getting educated. About someone possibly passing away in a home. Information. So someone could have found some. Okay, so someone could have passed away like at a home or something like that. And there was something heartbreaking about what was found in the home. Someone found something with the library here. Like books, notes documentation like someone passed away and there was some sort of evidence or documentation that was found in this person's home that they were putting on a performance that they were not happy that something was all bullshit and there's a huge wave coming like something is like deeper than the ocean like something is deep like something goes deeper than other people thought and that could be what this investigator is finding out or what even a family is finding out that could be what a group of people are scrambling to cover up because someone could have passed away here and it could have been one of those feminine energies who passed away and something goes deeper than they thought because when someone passed away, even if they didn't pass away in the home, they could have found something in the home that was very heartbreaking that they didn't know. Like maybe you spoke some sort of truth about what someone was doing to you and your siblings could have found this, like this person's spouse could have found this, someone could have found this information and then they tried to destroy it, ruin it, like get rid of it. Like this could have to do with a collaboration or something illegal or someone trying to unalive someone, like a jealous feminine, like it could have been your own mother or a mother figure, you know, aunt, whatever. Um, whoever this person is, like something was found in someone's home after they passed away and shit's deeper than they thought. And someone is getting educated. The school and the sea, like some, someone's finding out that something runs deeper than anyone ever expected. Whatever the situation is, it, it, it's deep. But people acted like it wasn't that deep. Like, oh, it's not that deep or it's not that big of a deal. It's deep. It, it's real deep. Anything about the time. I'm going to get a time card. This year, patience is required. Someone needs to stop obsessing first. And something is way off in the future. So sometime this year, patience is going to be required. Someone needs to stop obsessing because something is way off in the future. What about way off in the future? It's not too late today and when you least expect it. So for some of you, 
something is going to be happening this year. Patience is required for some of you. Stop obsessing. Something isn't going to happen for a long time. Um, for some of you, something could happen as early as today or when you least expect it, like out of the blue. This could be something positive that's going to happen within the situation, like when you least expect it. Or there could be something unexpected that's going to happen during these time frames because there's a lot going on here. And this message could actually apply to a lot of people. It's a collective read. So for some of you this year, way off in the future, and for some of you, like when you least expect it, for some of you, like even as early as today, you could get some sort of information about this situation, whether it's good or bad. Like this is going to take a turn. Like this situation is changing up. Up your spiritual protection. So someone may need to up their spiritual protection. Because you have a dark witch or a warlock that's trying to do some shady shit to you. And they don't have any shame. They're unapologetic. <clears throat> they needed to stop wasting their time because someone has moved on. It's over. But someone refuses to move on. This obsessive psycho lover who's doing love spells on you. They wouldn't stop wasting their time. An investigation is involved. Like this has come out. Detective investigation. And this is the third time investigation has come out. So there is an investigation. And somebody was in a bad marriage. So this is somebody that someone was married to or someone that is in a bad marriage. However it resonates. Maybe being married to this person was a waste of time. Or this person is wasting their time that you were in a marriage with. That you could have divorced from, separated from. Or this person is in a really bad marriage. A group is involved. And someone needs to pay attention to their health. So someone needs to pay attention. They didn't change. They're still the same. So someone didn't change. Someone who refuses to let go. Someone needs to proceed with caution. So be careful. Someone didn't change. They never changed. They never grew up. They never went through a transformation. Your instincts are on point with whoever this is. That needs to proceed with caution. That you blocked. Use your intuition. This is a father or a son figure. Okay, so use your intuition with a father or son figure of masculine energy. There could be crooked judges involved here that's being two-faced. And someone has a sex addiction. So someone could be having an affair with a crooked judge or something. Yeah, that someone works with. <sighs> crooked judge could be sleeping with like the lawyer of your ex. Okay, or if there's a legal issue, there's someone here. There, there's like a, a courtroom affair or something with a crooked judge. The crooked judge is sleeping with someone here that they work with or that they're working with. And someone's missing the trap that a gold digger set for them. And someone has too many fake profiles to count. So there's a crooked judge here that works with someone. And they have some sort of sex addiction that they're dealing with. And they tried to trap someone up because they're a gold digger. Mm -mm -mm. And you were telling the truth. Someone's telling the truth. And someone's purposefully lying to cover their ass. And someone's going to find this out in the next two to four weeks. That someone was not being guided by their ancestors and their life was a struggle. So, And they're just projecting. They're pointing out your mistakes. They're projecting. Someone's being set free. Someone's getting released for j from jail. This could be mental jail, physical, spiritual, emotional, whatever. But you're being set free. Someone's being set free. Beggars can't be choosers in the reverse. Someone wanted you to beg them. Fire sign Aries, Leo, Sag. Air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And October. And in the summertime with E, F, G, and H. M, N, O, or P. And a Cancer. This is a true situation of the blind leading the blind in a Gemini. Q R S or T. Someone was being misguided in a bad, bad way. To trap someone up. Better mouse trap in the reverse. 
there, someone was really trying to trap someone up. A gold digger. In March on a Tuesday could be significant. An event could have happened in March on a Tuesday. Someone's birthday could have been in March on a Tuesday. For all intents and purposes, someone didn't have a clue about some sort of secret. And now it's being made crystal clear. So someone didn't know about something that was being kept secret. And that's that hermit in the upright. Like something is being exposed. Something is being made crystal clear about this situation. Because there's some shady shit going down with this. Something is being made clear during this investigation. And someone made some sort of communication and someone's getting burned by a deal that they made. So someone was making some sort of communication with a woman or by a woman. There was some sort of communication maybe to cause harm to a feminine energy and this, someone's getting burned. Someone's making a deal that's going to burn them. A collaboration, someone working with someone. Could be someone working with a feminine. They're about to get burned. With this lies, with these lies that they told. Because someone is working with someone else. Or because of who they're working with. Someone's about to get burned by a deal they're, they made. Or a contract or whatever. But some somebody's getting burned by this. Like someone's making a bad deal. This person who had a third party situation going. Juggling multiple women. Or there's two feminines here and a masculine. So someone's getting burned in this deal. Because someone's not getting money or getting resources. So there was some sort of communication to get money from someone, but the well's dry. There is no money. Someone's getting caught sleeping with someone. They were seduced. So someone seduced someone just for money. But they didn't have resources or they didn't have money. And now someone's turning their back on someone they were sleeping with because they're not getting any more money or something like that. Or they're not paying them. Or this could have been a prostitution thing. A lot. Of, sometimes when I see that card, I see prostitution and then we see seduction. So someone may be ending a situation or they're getting burned by like maybe an escort or a prostitute or something that they had a thing going on with. Or like maybe someone was getting paid like to sleep with them. Like um, even if this is like a crooked judge or something, like maybe someone was giving someone money and someone got cut off. And so something it's like someone's going to turn their back on them and snitch, like tell someone, like tell the truth, speak the truth, maybe because they're not getting any more money. So someone's about to get burned by someone that they had um, some sort of sex addiction with or something like that. And they stopped giving this person money and now they're going to turn their back on them and they're going to get burned by this. Like, this is a bad... Someone's going to wish they hadn't done this. So this is like that king or queen of wands in the reverse. Someone who is not a leader. Someone who is not a boss. You couldn't handle my undivided attention in the reverse. So this could be the person who is obsessed with someone. And someone here is saying like, what the hell, man? What the fuck? What is wrong with you? Like, what did you do? Like, someone is just like, I don't, I don't even know what to do with you. Because of what action this person did or whatever they did. They didn't think that they would get burned by whatever they were doing. Like maybe because they were sitting in an official position, so they thought that they were good. They were trying to keep something from being made public. Like they were trying to cover something up. So they rushed, someone rushed in quickly to do some shady shit to keep something like covered up. Michael said we must deceive them as to not hurt them and in that way we honor them. So someone is finding out that they were being deceived by someone who maybe they respected at one time. Or someone that they viewed as someone who was held in high honor. Someone's finding out that this person was just despicable. Like, they're just horrible. They're just, like, a bad soul. Like, someone is being deceived by someone that they thought they could trust. Even if it's like a lawyer. It's like, man, I thought you told me the truth or something. But someone is just greedy. 
Like, they're just gluttonous. It's like someone's just greedy and gluttonous. And someone is finding out that they were being deceived just because someone was being greedy. Like, and this person is feeling, a you know, a certain kind of way about this. Like, they're like, what the hell? Like, it's like they're throwing their hands up. Like, it's almost like the energy of, like, you know, like, you, your parent, like, if you... And you, this is not ha it does not have to be the exact scenario, so stop thinking that. <clears throat> like, you know how you catch your kid doing something bad or something like that? And it's like, you know, you go into the bathroom, they've written all over the bathroom mirror, they got into your lipstick, like, they drew a doodle, like, they dumped out every shampoo bottle you've got, they've clogged your toilet with toilet paper. The only thing you can do is, like, throw your hands up and be like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> You were in here for five minutes. Like, I left you alone for five minutes. What the fuck? Like, that's the energy. Like, it's like, what the fuck did you do? How did you fuck shit up so much in such such little time? Like, that's the energy. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck is wrong with you? That is the energy. Like... <laughs> Only this is adults, not children, okay? So these are, like, grown-ass people. Like, it's like, I left you alone for five minutes. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe they need a spanking. I don't know. Like, do they do that in, <laughs> like, lawyer rooms or, like, off lawyer offices in the courthouse? Like, <laughs> Oh man, someone thought they were better than someone else. They wanted to be seen as better than someone else. Clout chaser. Take life one cup at a time. Just just chill. Just relax. It, it's all going to work out. It's it's all good. Just stay zen, you know. Go meditate, do something, relax, chill. It's all going to be okay. And I'm hearing Bob Marley, don't worry about a thing cuz every little thing it's going to be all right. <laughs> just just be cool. There's going to be a reason to celebrate, eat, sleep, dance, just be happy. Just chill. It's all it's all good. It's all good. Mhm. Mm it's going to be okay. For someone who's in the upright, you know, it's not going to be okay for everybody. <laughs> Let's get that clear. It's not going to be clear for everyone. We have Pisces in the morning time. Someone's getting caught red-handed doing something. So this could be a Pisces getting caught red-handed doing something in the morning time. Or someone's going to get caught doing something to a Pisces in the morning time. And there's a moment of glory here. Moment of truth being exposed. About something that happened in July. Or someone's getting their moment of glory in July. About a thief. Okay, so a thief did something in July. That could land them in jail. Someone is trying to get creative. Think outside the box. So someone's trying to get creative with something. Every dog has its day or you are creative. Maybe you think outside the box this summer. Yeah, there's not a positive outcome here for someone, though. They thought it was just a matter of time on a Wednesday. So someone took some sort of action, possibly on a Wednesday... And they thought it was just a moment of time before everything was going to work out for them because, like, you know, they're going to just bully someone, harass someone, like, just rob them blind, whatever the case. Yeah, they took some sort of action. They're not they're not getting that. Like, they tried to scare someone, so they could have tried to scare someone, or they were scared stiff on a Wednesday. Because something is as dead as a doornail, and you're going to be happy as a clam, or someone being dead as a doornail is going to make you happy as a clam, however it resonates for you. This person who's a loose cannon who tried to divide and conquer you. A whole can of worms has been opened about this shit. Like someone wants to kiss and make up with you now. But you know what? It's an eye for an eye. You're going to weather this storm. This person thought something would be like stealing candy from a baby. A Gemini and a Capricorn is about to be pissed off. Maybe at a Leo or a Leo is going to be pissed off. At a Gemini and Capricorn. Because someone thought it would be really easy. They would just steal something. Get it over with. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. A Cancer is spinning their wheels. Because someone loves someone. In April or someone's birthday is in April. But someone's being avoided like the plague. 
So it's like someone loves someone, but someone's avoiding this person. Against all odds, a Capricorn is not proceeding with caution because someone is not looking back with a Cancer. Okay. There's a two peas in a pod situation with a Scorpio, who's a king or queen of wands in the reverse. You're the boss in the reverse. A Scorpio is a king or queen of wands in the reverse. Someone's not a boss. Boundaries are being set with this group. Birds of a feather flock together. The shady ass group that was up to this nonsense. A lot of signs came out and a lot of repeat signs too. So you could be significant person, place, or a thing. Q. F. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Someone could be saying that. Fuck you. And then you again. And you. And you. You know how Oprah's like, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. And it's like, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, and especially fuck you. <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting. In three years, I told you. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> and it's like, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you. So there's there's at least three fuck yous. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Fuck you all, eh? <laughs> oh, well, there's four fuck yous now. So there's another you. So there's four fuck yous. <laughs> it's like. And a bonus, fuck you. <laughs> and P.S., and fuck you. Oh. Oh my god. That cracks me up. I, I like a good read. Like, I'm not saying it's a good read, like, you know, because some shady shit's afoot, but, like, I like it when I laugh. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh my god. H. Especially when my, you know, like, when the puzzle pieces co sign the bullshit. Like, you know, it's like. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> and I'm not saying it's bullshit. What I'm, you, know, you know what I mean. Uh, two eyes. So someone's definitely being watched. Someone's under watch. <laughs> someone's like saying, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Because they're being watched. And like someone's laughing. It's like someone's laughing. So I have... Four, fuck you, so I have FQ, four U's, I, I, ha, and no. So it's like, I'm just, I love this shit. I love it when my puzzle pieces speak like that. Oh, uh, talk dirty to me. <laughs> that could be significant. I don't know. I love it when they speak. Yeah. So um, someone's saying, fuck you to all y'all, because someone's being watched, and someone's saying, ha, nope, I don't think so. So, Yeah. The, these aren't necessarily like anyone's initials. That's just the message. Ha, huh? four fuck yous. No, not happening. So whatever that's about, whatever who that's for, I hope you laughed because it was good stuff. I don't know. It was funny. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.